Hello, welcome to your quick check-in in love here. Uh, whoever it is that you are thinking about, let's see what's going on with their energy. I hope everyone is doing really, really good. Hope everyone's in a good space. What is this person feeling overall at this time? <clears throat> wow. Someone here is changing someone. There's some... Oh, what was that? There's... There's some energy today. There's energy. Um, some of you are really causing a shift in someone's energy today. And again, it may be because of the transits. Some of you are, and, and I feel like if this is a new person you're connecting with, this person realized, like, I have to change my whole game plan to deal with you. I have to change everything. I have to show up differently. I have to to change everything like the player ways that I had or the inconsistent ways that I had I have to change it um some of you are literally making a change in someone's life and you don't even know it you you don't even know the impact you're having in someone's life at this time it says I'm driving myself crazy thoughts of you are literally consuming me okay so this is someone here that's thinking about things a lot um, thinking about this connection. They want to say a lot. We have Verge here and unsent messages. And then we have commitment sitting here. So you have this person thinking about commitment. You have this person thinking about changing, thinking about showing up differently. And for some of you, I will say this, you know, if you were connecting with a past person and and this is again for some of you, if you were connecting with a past person and this person has been not showing up, right? Not really showing up, not making you a priority, you know, just keeping this, this, this momentum of nothingness energy going. I feel like there's a new energy that comes in or there's a shift that happens, right? And again, for some of you, it could be a new person coming in with this energy here, of feeling like they have to change or they have to present themselves in a different way that they're not used to but it's honest it's not it's not like something that's deceptive or anything like that it's a very genuine energy it's an energy of i see how you prioritize yourself and i have to prioritize you i have to or again you may not you may not grow with me you may not connect with me you may not actually continue this relationship with me so someone here is nervous they're nervous that they may lose you. They're nervous that you may view them as incompetent or you may view this person as not being able, not being fit for the position in your life. All right. This is, this is a very heavy energy. Some of you may feel this already in terms of the way this person has been communicating with you or speaking with you, or for some of you, you haven't been able to see it because this person here is in this place where they're not even sending any messages or they're not saying much, but they're saying, I want to, I've thought about it. I thought about sending messages here. This could, I get Capricorn energy or Libra or Scorpio or, mm, or even a Sagittarius vibe here, but there's just someone here that's just like, how do I, how do I formulate my words? Like, how do I put my words together and say this to you or express this to you? Especially for some of you, there's also this energy of you connecting with someone that started out a relationship with you or started a connection with you, knowing that they weren't ready, but at the same time, not wanting to lose you. So what do I do? I'm in the middle of a crossroads right now. I want you, but I don't know if I'm ready. So what do I do? All right, so I want for some of you to pay attention to those energies, right, of just keeping things in limbo. But I do get a very anxious vibe here with this reading. Oh, I have to say something. Someone here is also like rereading your messages, rereading things that were sent, or maybe constantly looking at your pictures, or rereading text messages just to get a better understanding of what you meant. Um, what you were trying to say, what you were trying to elaborate on that you didn't elaborate on. Frustration. <laughs> I'm getting, that's literally what I'm getting here with this energy. It's like I'm overthinking. You're constantly on my mind. Again, for some of you, this could be someone in your past, right? This is just the energy that I'm getting currently, right? So whether it's a new person, past person, you're making changes. You're coming in and you're, you're causing shifts. You're making changes. And you may not even notice it. 
All right. This person also views relationship as burdens sometimes like they feel like relationships in their past has been really hard but they feel like you require a different energy Let, let's get some more here because i just feel like there's a lot that needs to be said here but again not being expressed can i just say that you have someone just up at night thinking you know and this person could have lied about commitment or this person could have lied about committing to something there was something that they were supposed to do here is it possible that they were supposed to do something or supposed to commit to a certain um maybe meet up or relationship i was supposed to commit to something and i didn't commit to it i didn't show up the way that i was supposed to show up for this energy and again you know it does give me the vibe of ghosting here but i feel like this person didn't even communicate something and now this person's trying to figure out how do i come back in or what do I do? I get just like a very stressed energy. Like someone here is stressed as if like, what do I say? They could be also getting advice here. We have twin flame energy too. And that commitment energy comes out again. All right. I will say for some of you, be very careful that you're not connecting with someone that's already connected with someone, but yet still like you. All right. You know, cause that could be sometimes a little difficult to navigate navigate through. Like this person's still interested in other people, but yet this person doesn't want to let me go because this person feels like I'm their, you know, I'm their light. I'm their shining, you know, star and things like that. Okay. So it's very important to have a conversation about commitment. Commitment is literally the end goal here, but the commitment energy here, I feel like someone is struggling to um, keep something consistent is what I'm getting. Like there, There's a struggle today. Okay. Someone here is struggling. They're struggling with expressing themselves. Yeah, Leo. I heard Leo Virgo energy here. Also Aquarius. Let's get a little bit more for this overthinking energy here. Reaching out. They're overthinking and they're stressing about reaching out. They do not know what to say. I don't know what to say to you. Like, how do I reach your heart? How do I reach you? Like, how do I reach that? that point where we could get back to a place of feeling safe with one another again. What happened? Something happened here and someone, it's like they're stressed about a conversation or they're stressed about this energy that they're feeling. And one of the main energies that I feel like this person's feeling is this person slipping, this person slipping here, or this person slipping out of my hands, or this person slipping away from me. And even if that's not true, that's just what they're feeling. They're feeling like you're slipping, right? They're feeling like there's a lack of celebration between us here. Reach out, okay? They're hoping that you'll reach out too. And even if you've reached out, I feel like this person, again, they're struggling with a response, all right? For those that have reached out, all right? Why? Like, I get this person so nervous around you as well. Yeah, it's like they're nervous. Like, they're nervous to speak. They're nervous to open up. They're nervous to communicate here. Listening to music. Maybe they might try to send you music. Or there's, like, some sort of music possibly here. But again, with that commitment energy. How are my viewers feeling? Let's get my viewers' energy in here. This could be you, but take what resonates. My viewers here, how are they feeling here? So... Oh, some of you are manifesting. Some of you are literally in this energy of like manifesting and you're manifesting a telepathic message over to this person. This person could feel your energy so heavily. You come off, you come off like their dream person. You come off like the person that they've always desired. There's something about your energy currently that's very, very still that's very relaxed, that's very unbothered, that's very self-love focused, that this person's like, wait, this energy, I love it, but it's really making me nervous because I can't read your mind and I don't know what you're thinking and I don't know if I'm going to lose you, literally. And I'm not too sure if you still even want me. We have patience just wanting to break my nail and come out, okay? All right, let's get some more, please. Overall mutual energy. What's the mutual energy? Okay, what's the mutual energy here? Untouchable here. All right. And obsession, wanting to come out. 
in the reverse here. And someone here is obsessing over communication. Like, I'm obsessed with wanting to talk to you here. Someone here wants to communicate. They really want to communicate, but I feel like... I feel like you're living in this person's mind. Literally. They feel like the conversation may be unstable. They feel like the conversation may not be... Like it's not time or it, this is not the right time. There's something about the timing and there's something about the current energy that the two of you are in that this person's unsure. Maybe you just met this person or maybe, again, we've had some sort of disconnect and you can't just come back in um, all willy-nilly. Like you have to come in with some sort of, I don't know, apology. All right. And again, someone here is feeling like, well, if I reach out, it may not be the right thing to do or it's not the right time. So I'm getting resistance with a reach out. All right. In the extended. All right. In that beautiful extended, we're going to take a look at what this person wants to say to you. All right. What this person wants to say to you, what this person wants to convey in love um, message, more importantly, from spirit in terms of what you need to do or should do. OK. And again, if this person's wanting to reach out and if this person's wanting to carry things through and if this is worth it. All right. So see you over at the extended. Of course, hit the like button, hit the notification bell and I will talk to you soon. Have a good one.